Welcome to this webcast. My name is Ali Raza Zaidi. I'm Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operation Consulting. Currently holding Microsoft MVP award. I'm Microsoft Certified Trainer and Microsoft MVP. I have around six years working experience with Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operation and Dynamics AS on Cloud. In this webcast, I will give you overview of number sequence from number sequence framework. In the first part, I will define you of what is number sequence and how we set up in a Dynamics 365 for finance and operation. In the second part, I will give you a code snippet which will be used in custom form to use number sequence. Let's begin. So what is number sequence? Number sequence are used to generate readable unique identifier for both master data as well as transaction data. For example, we required unique identifier for customer, vendor, as well as sale order and purchase order. We use number sequence functionality or framework to generate these as well as for our customization. We can define number sequence in organization administrator module of Dynamics 365 for finance and operation. Module specific number sequence list page is available in parameter pages of every module that hold the number sequence used in that module. We will see both this form in a demonstration part of this webcast. Number sequence based on three segments. First is scope, second is constants, and third is alphanumeric. Scope means which organization to use the number sequence. For example, it will be a share it means that multiple legal entities available in an organization use that number sequence. Then it's based on legal entity, a specific, we have defined a specific legal entity that use a number sequence. And possible, we required some operating, use, operating unit that use a number sequence. And then third comes a physical calendar period, which is based on legal entity and company scope. Then come a constants. Constant segment contains a set of literal or symbol that did not change. For example, there will be a possible requirement where we define purchase sale in a sequence number. For current example, we use a test as a constant. Then comes the alphanumeric segment, which contains a set of literals or numeric that increments every time when number is next number is generated. Hash is used as incrementing numbers. For example, if we define a legal entity base number sequence that contains legal entity, constant and a, 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 a numeric, alphanumeric is something like USMF test 0001. We define segment 1 for legal entity and we select USMF is a value. And then comes segment 2 which contains a constant and constant holds the value test. And segment 3 will be alphanumeric and we use 4 hash to define 4 digit alphanumeric that will be incremented. First value is triple zero one and maximum value is four times nine. Let's go towards the demonstration. 